think, let me just start with a little bit about what African Filter does and how we connect with the arts. We're an organization that was set up to sort of shift harmful stereotypical narratives about Africa. Narratives like Africa's broken because everybody's trying to fix us. You know, Africans are dependent because like the West rich countries are always trying to give us money to fix ourselves. And the fact that Africans lack agency, like we don't even know how to do it ourselves. So that's kind of those narratives and narratives are built up from stories that you hear over time. So it's a story about poverty, of famine, of, you know, of conflict, of violence, corruption, those ladder up to those sort of narratives. And one thing we realized that stories are the way narratives are shaped. So if you want to change narrative, you've always got to empower people to tell stories. There are two types of storytellers. There's storytellers in media, journalists, and there's storytellers in the arts. What I love about people in the arts is that storytelling and people who are talented in some kind of creative way, have a way of triggering conversations around the things that they care about. So if you get an artist to depict an issue, it's likely to generate and stimulate some sort of conversation. So that's how we use art. So we essentially give funds to artists, to storytellers, graphic designers, content creators, you know, visual artists, writers, um, yeah, to, to tell the stories that shift the continent or shift their country or shift the narrative around their community. But it's got to be something that, um, that, that presents a different picture of the way the world usually sees this particular thing. So that's how we use artists. And by the way, I will stop. But the one thing I always say to my team is that we don't like artists just because they're artists. We like artists who want to shift the narrative 